Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay, let's get some facts. On the 1st of January 2024, there were 24,874 people awaiting an access to work decision. On the 1st of February, 26,924. On the 1st of March, 29,871. And on the 1st of April, 32,445. Every month, the figures keep increasing. So, since the beginning of 2024, the access to, back, uh, to work backlog has risen by more than 7,500. Does the minister actually really think this is supporting more disabled people back into work? Yes. Yeah. I thank the honourable lady for her points. And if we're trading figures, as the close of business on the 7th of May uh, 2024, there were 36,721 applications awaiting decision. And I would remind for those people listening why this matters, because this is very significant support, demand-led support for people who are getting opportunities to work or take new roles on. And this grant can fund them up to £66,000 worth of flexible, personalised <coughs> support per person per year. It's absolutely right that we get the right information from the individual and take time to approve a significant application such as this.